did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the exe standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see you here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon so you open that up and it'll take just a minute especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab and you just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just its way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that, be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's most compatible. You want to check Advanced graphics mode beta for CPU cores I have eight I like to set it to four if you set it too high sometimes it can lag your computer so four is pretty good and I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM so around 3000 MB should be good once that's done just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see you in just a sec all right so once it is restarted I went ahead and maximized the screen real quick and we'll go over to system apps and then the Google Play like you would on any Android device do a quick search for One Piece, and there is One Piece Treasure Cruise. Just click the green install button, and it'll take a minute or two to download, depending on your internet connection. So 51 MB download, and then it'll install it. And then once that's done, we could, could click the green button there, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this tab and show you it's on the home screen. Open it up from there, and as you'll see, it'll start up. And instead of going through this whole configuration process in the video, we'll skip on ahead to gameplay, so we'll see you in a second. All right, so I'm in game now. I went ahead and went through the tutorial, skipped all that so you don't have to watch that. And before we get going on gameplay, I want to show you a few summons real quick. It's going to be a multi-summon. And then now uh, we'll get to some gameplay and then I'll come back and comment at the end of the video to wrap things up.
せごちゃいけねえ黙っておりましたね<笑>So, as you can see, One Piece Treasure Cruise runs great on the Bluestacks emulator. No issues that I could really see. And that'll be it for this video. Good luck setting it up on your own computer. Leave a comment if you have a question about how to do this on your own. I'm using a Windows 10 machine. Like I said, it worked great. We'll see you guys next time.